Many expected the Supreme Court to douse the heated immigration debate with its ruling on SB 1070. Instead, it seems to have fanned the flames. Judges upheld one key provision requiring officers to confirm the legal status of individuals during unrelated stops if they have reasonable suspicion that person is here illegally. And that is leaving many with more questions than answers. Tonight, the Tucson City Council and the Police Department are trying to figure out what's next. Jessica Chapin sat in on the council meeting for this Not In Your Side Immigration Watch. Guy, more questions is right. That's what the city council had for local law enforcement as they discussed how to implement SB 1070. And what we got out of this meeting today is that we're going to have to wait for those answers. This matter still has a very long way to go. For the first time since the Supreme Court's ruling, the city council is sitting down to discuss what's next, some of them blowing off steam. I think it's a horrible ruling uh, and, and that I guess my sense is that uh, it puts you totally at the mercy of the DHS in terms of uh, that, re that verification phone call. Um, it's millions of dollars potentially to the city in terms of uh, holding, holding people. But questions about enforcing the law prove hard to answer for TPD Chief Roberto Villasenor. If there were still some unanswered questions, we did not have a timeline as to when the implementation Police and council members say they're concerned about possible lawsuits either way they enforce. And Via Senor is feeling the pressure from both sides. How do you take that pressure and manage to make a decision? How, what's your decision process like despite the pressure? I listen to what they have to say and I try and if they're misinformed about something, I will try and educate them what the law really says. If they bring up a valid point that I hadn't considered before, I try and keep that and take that into my toolbox of how I'm going to make my decision on this. The controversial component upheld by the Supreme Court is now back in the hands of Judge Bolton, who issued the original injunction. And until that decision, police and city officials will wait on theirs for enforcement policies. There's just a lot of tension about it, and everyone needs to just kind of wait and see how we can work through this together. Now, it will be in uh, at least July 20th before this goes into effect. Uh, the city does plan to keep the community informed, continue that dialogue uh, to make sure that everyone's informed on how it could impact them. Guy? How do they plan to do that? Well, you know, uh, Chief Villasenor did say that they were putting together some informational uh, either brochures or pamphlets for the citizens. Also, Council Member Regina Romero uh, suggested a community forum, so that may be in the works in the near future as they well. certainly have a lot of people with questions, I know. Thank you, Jessica.